traders all right welcome back for the morning meeting for cyber group right here it is the 9th of august so uh so far we're having a really really fun morning guys aren't we huh let's go bring up uh big news is right now k b s f can everyone hear that little uh nice little cash register going on Looks like everyone early bird gets the money, so we're doing pretty well. Ken, you're already up uh, 40, uh, 20, 21 cents. I was already up 67 cents, but you know what? Eight o'clock this morning had some really good movement right there in the pre-market and uh, right around that set. Everyone should have got in at least at 750 or even the breakout at eight dollars. So it looks great, really strong. Some of you remember that we trade this back uh, all the way back. Uh, was this back in? Um, in uh, March, this stock went from five dollars to eleven. So when you think like, is the rally over? Well, listen, we're going to talk a little bit about the ABIL. So it was great. So anyway, we're going to talk a little bit about that. There's a few more, and hopefully you guys are still in it. Listen, what do I always say? If you can't, you know, you can't make money on demo mode. Buy one stinking share of the stock. See what it's like. What do you have to lose, right? So if you can't, because you don't, if you can't trade one share, you'll never learn how to trade a thousand. You got to be in the game. You got to have fun of it. It's not about making money. It's about saying, you know what? I was in that trade. It's about being up in points. So that's what it's all about. So let's go back uh, and talk about what happened yesterday. And then we'll go through some of the watch list because we had a killer day yesterday. I mean, I'm telling you, sometimes I surprise myself and, I, and uh, it's just, it's, it's unbelievable. Some of the things that we had Everyone made a lot of money yesterday, and once again, let's not, you know, uh, cry if you missed that opportunity yesterday. But I want to start off talking about the ABIL. Holy cow, was that a runner or what? Uh, let me just fix the the ticker here so a lot of you guys can see that and what happened this morning. But this thing was all over the place. Great runner. It was a great pre-market runner. You could see it right there. It was, you know, I don't know. Could be talking about another like looks kind of similar to the KBSF today, but that thing broke all-time highs, uh, higher highs. Uh, it was it wasn't a level one stock though. Um, it was in the three category. Had stock had a big big uh, big uh, spread right there. But what a beautiful run! Four dollars all the way to eight fifty, and uh, you know we saw the stock. I told you you know yesterday. Remember we traded the stock uh, back in June. It went from three all the way to fifteen. And it was not only was a good day trade, it was a little bit of a good short-term swing trade. But what do we know about these stocks? Whatever comes down, cr crashing down, this stock in the biggest percent gainer. Where is it now? In the biggest percentage loser. So some of you guys don't know what a squeeze is. Oh, there you go. All right. Tons of people made money on it. Bob, I mean, and, and you know what? You'd have to make the $4. But Bob did pretty good, right, Bob? Bob made uh, 49 cents. Steve made a dollar. Neil made 66 cents. Um, I mean, everyone just picked up money. I know uh, Ken made about four grand yesterday on that trade. Ben, I, you know, I, I don't even know where to go with you with that one. You must have killed it all. So everyone did great. I did great. So it was a great winner. So let's give everybody a round of applause on that one. Another big winner also, the ENDP. This is all we realistically need. Uh, I mean, we just need one. So if you missed that one, you got this one. This one right out of the gate also went from thirteen fifty all the way up to about seventeen dollars. You know, nice, nice big winner right there. You could see, and also you can notice a lot of these stocks pretty much stopped right around when we when we supposed to quit, right around that eleven uh, ten thirty eleven o'clock mover. But everyone did great. There was a couple other ones also. Uh, I, could, I I could bring up the DDD was also a nice little mover right there, sixteen to eighteen fifty. Uh, what else have we had? I think that was about it. But um, and, but the funny part is we, I, we didn't see any news on ABIL. So that just shows you more about the squeeze. All right. But overall, great, great day. So anyway, that is yesterday. Okay. It's over. It's done. And you know what? It makes you excited to realize what to expect this morning to say, you know what? Damn, I missed that one. Maybe I can get today. You know what, Dim, I'll miss, you know, I missed the day before. Let me get there this morning. That's why you have to be here at 8 a.m., not us doing it at 9, you know, when we're doing the, and doing the audio broadcast and doing the meeting. But, listen, it's 8 o'clock. We're there. We're, we're, the room's open. A lot of you guys are already enjoying the KBSF. 
So, um, you know, boom, look at that. There you go. Look at it. Still, it's still going. It's still going. You know? Let me, uh, what a great, great move on that one. Hey, good job. So, all you guys, who's going to do pretty well? Um, Ben, you're already up 18 cents. Very nice. Jim, you got 20 cents on that. See that? This is what it's all about. Do the math, guys. This is what people don't realize. This is why, this is why we love this job. You make 20 cents. Forget about the thing ran three bucks. You make 20 cents, right, on a 1,000 shares. You're talking about a $6, $7 stock, right? Now it's $8. $8. Who's making 200 you know, in 15 minutes? Nobody. Nobody's doing that. And some of you be happy with it just on that, uh, that alone. I mean, some of you guys come into me and you tell me, says, Fausto, you know what? I'd be happy if I can make $50,000 a year. I'm like, I'm sorry, we're not really in the $50,000 business. But you know what? That's okay because you can see why people make money. But you know what? If that's what you wanted to make, you've made it. Enjoy the rest of your day with your spouse. Beautiful day. Humidity is low here in New York. I would do the same. All right, so enjoy. Ken, you're already up 1600 See? There you go. I'll give them a breaking news on that one. <laughs> Hey, 1600. All right. So anyway, there's a couple other ones that are moving I want to talk about. Obviously, the KBSF is the big one. SND, another one that's making a nice little move. It's got a nice little Fausto flag, guys, there right there. The stock was a $10.50 stock. It's gapping up a little nicely of 14%. I'm going to throw that one on the watch list. You know, everyone's talking about this one, Roku. But why would I trade Roku at $53? I would rather trade the KBSF at 8 You understand? And it's... Less risky, less volatile, and it's right up your uh, up right in the price range because at the end of the day, you're here just to make money. So that one's doing pretty well. Anyway, the ABIL, I just want to just talk really quickly about it. Whatever goes up must come down. Look at it. It's on the big gainers. Sure enough, look where it is now on the big losers list. Okay? So there you go. Another one, GEVO. I want you to keep an eye on this one. You guys remember this stock. Remember we trade this stock? Uh, this one went from $4 to $24 in two days. You know, she's um, she took a big hit right here. You know, she's down. She made a little bit of a comeback. But I just want to kind of remind everyone, here's another example of a short squeeze. And not that I like it. I want to trade it. Um, you know, it kind of made the big losers list. But you can see that this is what day trading is all about, making big, big runners like this one. Yelp, another one that you hear big news about all over the TV. Why are we going to trade Yelp at $44? Let's go stick around and trade, you know, the KBSF, you know, at, at $875. So still looks good. Still got a good mover. You're probably going to get if anyone subscribed to any, any other, you know, other chat rooms or whatever. I, I'm already getting emails. Oh, look at, look, look at, look at Yelp. Yelp is moving. Everybody's running on this bad wagon. You want to trade with everyone else? Go knock yourself out. I'm going to stick with the KBSF. Cheaper and better. It's all about making money. And then the last one I found, I don't know if I missed anything for some of you here, but uh, it's on the expensive side, you know, but it's breaking 52-week highs. Honestly, th I would rather trade this one uh, than trade a Yelp because this one, you know, it's breaking all-time highs. Um, it's expensive. And listen, I don't want to contradict what I just said, but we do have traders here that do make 1000 1500 you know, 2,500, they make a quarter million, half a million dollars a year. You know what, this might be, you know, so to, to sustain that, if, you, if you're in that level, this might be a, a, a better bet than the Yelp, the, w, the WP. Obviously, it's everything we're looking for. All right. So anything I'm missing yet, you know, yeah, is, is Rite Aid shortable? Okay, come on. I can't believe this company's still around. I mean, I just can't figure this one out. Everyone's doing great. I mean, it's so funny how big this company is. But then you got Walgreens, you got CVS. They're all like, in, they're all in the in the in the mid hundreds, you know, uh, you know, fifty, sixty dollars. This thing's at a dollar fifty-two. I still can't figure it out. This is like, this is like, this is like a dryer. So let's not let's not go there. But um, I don't know. Is it being bought out? Is it being sold? You know what? You know what the problem with this stock is, and I want to go on a tangent because I want to get you guys get ready to trade. But this one, the problem with this stock right here, it's got to do reverse stock split. It's got to do a 10 for one, 20 for one stock split, get in the price range. What happens? Mutual funds can't trade it. Anything under five dollars, you could see. Look at look at the volume this thing's traded. 15 million shares already in pre-market. Look at these orders. 15,000. This is too many shares that trade the stock. So let's get away from that one. All right. So anyway. 
guys, the um, you can see it right there. The KB, uh, KBSF still going. Congratulations, guys. We're already making you know, make a nice little move. So everyone did well this morning. Still looks strong. I'm going to keep an eye on it. Not every day you see a 70% mover in pre-market. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading. Oh, and don't forget, today we have open house at 12 o'clock. So invite your friends. Do what you can. Be there. Let's try to help recruit some of the traders. We'll give a little test, a taste of what we do. And if you're watching us on YouTube and Facebook, like us and feel free to register on our homepage to see one of our um, weekly open houses and explaining how we trade today's volatile markets. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading. And uh, see you at 12, and I'll see you at 2.30 for the afternoon meeting.